kids and parents. This is to help you guys understand the bat homework for this week, October 26th. You'll be getting this assignment on either October 28th, which is Wednesday, or October 29th, which is Thursday. So again, we are working on our reading passages and comprehension questions on bats. So the first thing that the kids need to do is their vocabulary for this one. This is a paper that looks like this. So they can color the front if they want to, and then they um, take it out and they cut these little tabs and then in each, under each tab, they write the definition of the word. So they can just look those up in a dictionary or they can look them up on the internet and find the definitions for the words and then write them in there. This needs to come back to school for sure because it goes in their science notebook. They get graded on this notebook, so they need to have all of this stuff in it to get a, the grade. The next thing that they are gonna do is at the back of the packet, they have two worksheets. The first worksheet is, thinking about bats. And it's just gonna ask you a couple questions on here. There's just four of them. The first one is explain how echolocation works. Summarize how mother bats care for their young. Why do bats hang, that should say hang, upside down from their feet? If there are so many bats and they are so widespread, why do you think we do not see bats every day? Okay, so each of these should be at least one to two sentences long. <laughs> <coughs> Remembering to use words from the question in our answer. So for example, this one says, explain how echolocation works. I wouldn't just start saying things bounce off of walls and then they hear, I'd say echolocation works by. Summarize how mother bats care for their young. Mother bats care for their young by. Why do bats hang upside down? Bats hang upside down because. So you need to use words from the question in your answer. The next page is called bats and it looks like this. It says, make an argument based on evidence from the text that bats are beneficial to humans. Be sure to provide specific details. You need to have at least one quote from the text in this answer. I would like ice, so three sentences. Main idea, citation, explain your citation. Number two, what is the main idea on page four? List three supporting details. So you would answer that by saying, the main idea on page four is, we know this because and then give me four quotes. Page four is this one that says, what do bats eat? All right, then the last question on our bats paper is, what is one question you still have about bats? There's no wrong answer to that. Ask me a question that you're still curious about, about bats. All right, if you guys have any questions about your bat homework, let me know. This is gonna be due the days we come back in November. So the second for A days and the third for B days. All right, see you guys later.